By asking ChatGPT to add three players to Nottingham Forest's squad every season, I wanted to see how quickly it would take Forest to potentially reach Europe and climb their way up in the Premier League. Given they were a team last season with a lot of money and a massive budget, what if they used that money reasonably? What if they went out and purchased players who were Nottingham Forest players? I've essentially asked ChatGPT if they could add two realistic players to Nottingham Forest's team. It's given me James Ward-Prowse, Ivan Tony, who wasn't in the game, I'm not even joking. So it gave me a similar player with Dominic Calvert-Lewin. And it's also given me Ollie Watkins. It's match day against Nottingham Forest. They have Watkins on the bench. However, they are starting James Ward-Prowse. I don't know where Dominic Calvert-Lewin is. I think he's injured or something because he's not even on the substitute bench. We're going to quickly sim the game. Um, they actually win 3-1. It's the end of the season. Forest are nowhere to be seen um, at the top of the table. But if they avoid a relegation, I mean, it's a win, right? They're 16th. So that's, that's cool. Only four points off relegation spot. Nine wins, 10 draws, and 19 losses. They survived. That's their end goal, to be honest. Let's add three more players to their squad. Chat GP has spoke it's recommended Rico Henry uh, Ben White and Emmy Buen Bienda pretty sure I say so from Aston Villa so yeah three again realistic choices this is how their squad's looking they've got Bienda and Cabot Lewin on the bench Ben White as well sorry uh, they're starting Will Prowse and Watkins and they have Drew 1-0 uh, Johnson getting the goal there and Forrest played awful and so did Brian it, it, it looked a dead game to say the least Another season's finished. Forest nowhere to be seen at the top half of the table. Uh, if we go down slowly, though, they are... They've been relegated. They did worse with 35 points. That is not looking good at all. Right, the next three selections who are a little bit more high profile now are Tammy Abraham, Conor Gallagher, who will probably start, and James Tokowski. It's that time again we're against Ollie Watkins, James Ward-Prowse, and Conor Gallagher. Abraham's on the bench with Calvert-Lewin as well. They've got about three, four new strikers now. Year three, they have avoided relegation again. I think it's time to add a little bit more of a, should I say, bigger player to the squad we're seeing nothing at all i think i've just overloaded their squad below the strikers the ai has finally spoke we have our blah 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 uh screenier screenier however you pronounce it um this was also asking of a little bit of a high demand i just said someone from europe's top five leagues uh, a little bit more high profile um it's also suggested me camavinga as well the reason it says stay around the ass is because ChatGPT goes off 2022 data it's another end of the season our forest are nowhere to be seen in the top eight however they are 12 so that's very good progress 46 points. We are slowly getting out to Europe. Yeah, let's add three more players and see how to get on. I've asked it to add three more high prospect players. It's given me Pedri, a very big one, uh, Charisma, and Graven Birch from Ajax. Eduardo Charisma is now a 69 rated. So 2022 stats are saying this man would have been the deal. He's out of a knot. So we're going to ask it for another player. Jude Bellingham. The AI speaks. This is how Forrest line up against me. We have Jude Bellingham, Camavinga, and Conor Gallagher in the middle. Pedri's getting left out, mate. He's no, he, he ain't even on the bench. Uh, Tammy Abraham and Ari blah blah. But I don't know where Ben White is. Honestly, half their squad. Oh, sorry, Ben White's a right back. Let's quickly sim it. We actually win 1 0. It's the end of the season. They're nowhere near the top half of the table. Uh, they're 10th for 53 points. 15 wins with 15 losses. So breaking even. Well clear of the relegation spot. So they've come off a, a long way. I can't add Aguero, mate. He's fucking dead. Varan, Verratti, two more similar players, please. Robertson, Kajano, Verratti, and Varan. Add another big striker, Olivia Giroud. Ooh, that's a good one, to be fair. This is how their team currently looks. If they don't achieve Europe with this, with that defensive midfield anyway, I don't know what else to do. It's that time again. Um, Varan's nowhere to be seen. I've turned transfers off so they can't actually sell their players at the start of the season. So this is just how the AI has them lined up. And they win 3-1. Pedri gets a goal and Watkins. So yeah, I think they're going to... I'm going to predict 8th this season. 8th or 7th. I see them top half of the table. Not in the forest. I finish 8th. 64 points. They're up there with the big boys, let's be honest. They went out in the fourth round of the FA Cup. I haven't been checking the cup. Sorry. Um, there's just no point because earlier on they were going out in like round 2. <laughs> they went out in the round 3 of the Carabao Cup. So Cups, they did awful. Kevin De Bruyne. You're going to say Mbappe. Harry Kane. That's, that's, that's a good choice. I'm in need of a winger. I'm going to ask for just one more winger and then that will top off the squad i'd say Jaden sancho that's that, that's a good that's a good one ai knows the thing mate essentially what i'm doing i'm just waiting until forest get european football and i'm stopping it slowly increasing the profile and the ability of the players we're adding to the team this is how their squad's looking kane's on the bench so strange honestly career mode is stupid it's dropped varan kane or blah blah screenia they've lost 2-0 okay that's not good forest to finish for this game is so broke. I, I don't understand that. I've given them Kane and De Bruyne, and they finished 14th. Kane got 13 goals. Sancho got 10 goals. De Bruyne got 23 appearances. It, it doesn't make any sense to me. Right, they're, they're in the Africa final. I'm taking that. Nottingham Forest crowned champions. 
Right, I'm taking that. I don't care. The FA Cup winners qualify for the following season's Europa League. They're in Europe, right? I didn't say how we had to get to Europe. 14th in the league, and we're in Europe. I just want to clarify, I'm not a Forest fan. I just wanted to do this challenge experiment thing, and it's done. Right, let me know what team you want to see next, and uh, yes, I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you very much if you made it this way, this, way, this far. Uh, yeah, cheers, boys. All the best, and uh, in a bit.